Hi, I'm Julie Meachin, a vertebrate paleontologist at Des Moines University and lead author of the study titled A Mummified Pleistocene Gray Wolf Pup, Canis Lupus from Yukon Territory, Canada in Current Biology. Let's learn about our pup and how she was found. This is Zur, our mummified wolf pup from the Pleistocene. Zur was discovered in July 2016 after melting out of the permafrost at a gold mine near Dawson City in Canada's Yukon Territory. Permafrost in the Yukon is an incredible source for fossil bones of Ice Age animals like woolly mammoths, steppe bison, North American horses and lions. Zur is unique because mummified bodies with preserved hair, skin and flesh like this are incredibly rare from North America. Her name Zur means wolf in the Han language of the Tron de Cochin, the indigenous people who live in this region. After Zur was discovered, we assembled a team of scientists to help us learn all about the life of this extraordinary Ice Age wolf pup. I examined Zur's morphology. Since she has all her soft tissues intact, we need to be able to see her bones via x-rays. In this x-ray of Zur, you will see this little white center down here in her elbow. This is an ossification center of the olecranon process of her elbow. In living dogs, it forms between six and eight weeks of age. And as you can see in Zur, it's present, but not fully formed. This tells us that Zur died somewhere between six and eight weeks of age. If we wanna know how long ago Zur lived, we use a technique called radiocarbon dating or C14. When we did this technique, we found an infinite result. This infinite result tells us that Zur is older than 50,000 years of age. So the only way that we can figure out how old Zur is now is to use another technique called a molecular clock. In order to determine Zur's molecular age, we first generated a high coverage mitochondrial genome with 27 fold average coverage using techniques optimized for recovering ancient DNA. We aligned her mitochondrial genome to other ancient and modern wolf mitochondrial genomes from across the world and built a time calibrated phylogeny using BEAST, a Bayesian phylogenetic analysis software. We included other ancient samples that had been previously radiocarbon dated to serve as calibration points that allows us to calculate the molecular clock rate across the entire tree and to estimate Shur's age. We found that she's between 55 and 75,000 years old and forms a clade with other ancient Beringian and Russian wolves. To learn more about Jer's life and diet, she was sent to the University of Alaska Fairbanks for stable isotope analyses. Typically, we get sent small samples from all over the world uh, from specimens like this. And in this case, I actually got to hold the wolf pup uh, myself, which was really cool. One of the first measurements we made of wolf pup was the oxygen isotope composition of a small a uh, fragment of wolf pup's tooth. Uh, this uh, we used to reconstruct what the oxygen isotope composition was of the habitat that wolf pup was living in. Uh, the oxygen isotope composition of habitats can be changed by climate and in warmer interglacial conditions that is very very different to the oxygen isotope composition of glacial conditions or colder drier conditions. In this case, we actually found that the oxygen isotope composition of wolf pup uh, was more consistent with interglacial conditions. And this actually lined up very nicely with the molecular clock data. We also measured the bulk, uh, stable carbon and nitrogen isotope composition of claw and hair samples from wolf, wolf pup. And we were using these data to infer wolf pup's diet. We compared these data with published data sets from modern wolves, some of which had consumed large proportions of aquatic resources and salmon. And I think we were very surprised to see uh, that wolf pup had had a large proportion of aquatic resources as part of its diet. Having found this, we went in deeper with some other analyses, including compound specific isotope analyses. In collaboration with a PhD student, Juliet Funk, I took samples of the claw of the wolf pup to measure the compound-specific stable carbon and nitrogen isotope ratios of individual amino acids to better infer the diet of the wolf pup. So compound-specific stable isotope analyses uh, is a complementary approach to traditional bulk stable isotope analyses, which provides a higher resolution understanding of diet. 
So the data from these analyses backed up the bulk data and showed that the diet of the wolf pup and by proxy the wolf pup's mother uh, was primarily composed of aquatic resources. So this relatively high proportion of aquatic resources may come as a surprise to many who envision uh, wolves feeding on large megafauna like caribou and bison. However, we know that modern wolves will make use of aquatic resources like salmon when they have access to those resources. Jure's complete body provides information about when and how she lived that can't be determined from bones alone. One of the consequences of climate change in the Arctic is that more of these mummies will be found in the future. And while this is really interesting for science, it highlights one of the problems of global warming and that we need to take action now to save this planet and all of its treasures.